well, well. Good morning again. It's me, it's Mr. B. I'm here at Hollywood Vine. And we're gonna visit the Brown Derby today. There he is. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm told that the Brown Derby at Hollywood and Vine is, is gone. But when I walk down Vine Street here, I see this building and I think it's a replica of I think this is a replica of the Hollywood Brown Derby. The original, I think, again, was up here where the Wells Fargo is now. We're gonna hook up with Al and talk about it. Yeah, see, now I look at this picture here. This is what it used to look like. And there's a little bit of, so when is they earmarked this place for redevelopment back in the early 2000s, this whole area still had this architectural design and look all the way down. Down at the very corner was the DMV and next to that was uh, the... Uh, when they decided to redevelop, the guy that had the hat shop inside here, I think the first one was the hat shop and the guy that owned this little piece of the property wouldn't, wouldn't sell for these guys. He was holding out for more money for more money. Wow, so this is so really they, a story like, like, like Up or whatever, right? Where the guy... The house just sits there and... Yeah, it's not uncommon, you know, around the country, throughout history, you know, people pulled out. But, uh, yeah, they decided to screw you, we're just going to develop around you, you can have your little shop. And um, and then once it was all built, you know, nobody wanted to buy it. So this is all that remains of the old structure yeah. because he well, wouldn't facade, sell it. The facade, the facade. Well... And then, uh, but the Brown Derby was next door. Yeah, let's move on down here. So just for reference again, here's the end of the block. All right, so now we're gonna head over to where the original Brown Derby was. Downtown, Wilshire, we'll take the red line. Wait, say that again for my camera? What? <laughs> Our journey to discover the underwhelming continues. Down, down, down. All right, we've made it, uh, we've made it down to uh, Wilshire and Western. And you'll know if you're at Wilshire and Western because you'll see the Wiltern Theater down here. And up the street in this direction is our destination. Now I knew we were getting close because... <laughs> no, 
<laughs> because I saw the I saw the I saw the Gaylord Hotel. And this is in all the old pictures. I always thought it was kind of funny. The very beginning in the background there is the Gaylord. So Gaylord Wilshire. Yeah. Wow. He's one of the, I think he's one of the brothers. <laughs> here, right here, and we'll put the dates up, but it was, uh, I think it opened 1926, Valentine's Day, and then a few years later, they moved it. Now the question is, can you see it? Because it's still there. It's right here, you see it? It's right here, yeah. Now it used to be out here on the corner, but they developed the land and uh, the developer who bought the corner decided that they were gonna tear it down. The city had an uproar and I'll put some pictures up where they barricaded the derby so that it wouldn't be torn down. Let's run across the street here. Apparently, they turned it into a karaoke bar for a little bit. So if you want to see the Brown Derby in LA, if you want to see the original Brown Derby, you got to come to this little strip mall. Well, look at that, actually. From up here, it's not quite so sad. You can see the brim of the hat. Well, what's left of it anyway? <laughs> well, they didn't even finish the broom of the hat. They just. They didn't have to. <laughs> So now we're out here in front of the Derby. There it is. With, the, with its beautiful Asian inspired theme doors. <laughs> oh, you come so far for a brown dome. It's not a dome. It's not a dome. It's a Derby. Can't you tell? Man, 
can touch some history here. The grain and the detail. It's just concrete covered wood paneling. So this was more the the lobby of the Brown Derby. Al's telling cool stories over here. Yeah, there was one on Vine Street and Hollywood Boulevard. So right next door to the Taft Building, uh, where that new W Hotel billion dollar complex is, on Vine Street um, is where that was. And that one was sort of the more hip one by the time things got rolling. And then from there, there was another one over on Hillhurst and Las Felix. That was also a dome-shaped building. It didn't exactly look like a derby, but it was the Brown Derby restaurant chain. And uh, it's where Sam Warner used to go spend uh, a lot of business lunches there and, and uh, social time. And uh, that building is now a been divided in two. It's now a bank and a uh, restaurant or cafe. But it is uh, the spot that was very popular in the 90s called the Derby. It was a place where a lot of swing bands, the um, swing dance culture used to hang out there. Uh, it was made popular in the movie Swingers. So Los Angeles actually has a great tradition of uh, mimetic architecture, architecture that, that mimics something else. You've probably seen the movie The Rocketeer, where there's a, a, a bulldog uh, diner in that. And that was a real diner that stood in Los Angeles at one point. Uh, there was a, a giant camera on Sunset Boulevard, or was it Hollywood? And of course, the Brown Derby. Some of these structures still stand. Some of them are being preserved as best they can. And some of them are in our favorite movies, like Iron Man. You've probably seen Randy's Donuts, the giant donut in Iron Man. Now, I don't know when that was built, but it is certainly in that tradition of mimetic architecture. If you know of some mimetic architecture that still stands around Los Angeles, please let me know. I'd love to take a look. What is this? This is Alexandria and 6th Street. What in the world is this? We're gonna have to come back and check it out. Looks very old, doesn't it? Are you looking at mimetic architecture? Yeah, it's called Chapman Plaza. Oh, this is Chapman Plaza, okay, yeah. When was it built? Also known as Chapman Marketplace. It's a building located between 6th and Alexandria in Los Angeles, California, which is near here. Yeah. Uh, the historic plaza building is about 50,000 square feet. It's located in the heart of Koreatown, which is where we're standing. Hosts several restaurant, bars, and cafes. Hmm. Uh, after its construction in 1928, the plaza opened in 1929. One of the first markets designed for easy access of automobiles. The plaza was constructed with big parking lots in the middle with numerous stores surrounding the lot. Chapman Plaza served higher class neighborhoods such as Fremont Place, Windsor Square, and Hancock Park in Los Angeles. Also, the plaza was built in, uh, in set with Chapman Park Studio Building on the other side of Alexandria. The plaza was built during That's the this. Built during the Spanish Revival movement period in the 1920s and the 1930s in Los Angeles mm -hmm. by renowned architectural firm Morgan Wallace and Clemens. The architects practiced Art Deco and Streamline Modern architecture, creating buildings in Los Angeles such as the El Capitan, the Mayan Theater. So, uh, what you're looking at there is actually the outside of it, and in the middle, 
is where the courtyard was where mm -hmm. people would park at the time and make it easy for them to go into the shops. This was the which shopping Which is reversed classic. from what you see across the street, which is parking lot in front, business in the back. That's a good point. Yeah, so I mean, this goes back to what we were saying about like the... the well, back in those days, you wanted to keep it exclusive yeah. and keep uh, the noise and all that. So if you were sitting out in front of any a restaurant there, for example, you wouldn't hear all the street traffic like you would if you were sitting on the street yeah. in front of one of these. This is all Koreatown now. Ha, 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 ha.